Hi everyone, this is Ellie coming to you from Australia, also known as The Future. Hello to everyone who's seen me for the first time and hello and welcome back to all of my wonderful subscribers. I've had a request from Paula and Paula's asked, uh, will the women of Afghanistan ever achieve the same rights as men in their country? I think um, it's worthwhile doing a full reading on this. I'm going to actually do a full reading on the energy around women and children in Afghanistan given the current circumstances and then I'm going to see if I can do some three card spreads on time scale. Time scale is really hard to do um, because you know it's I think you'll find that all the readers say that it's really hard to do time but let's take a look. I'll start off with a year and then see where that goes and maybe extend it further if necessary and we'll just see where it takes us. But first, the full reading. So um, if you'd like to wait a moment, I'm going to just adjust my camera. Okay. So, uh, oh, and by the way, for those of you who have been asking recently, my table, uh, the table that was gifted to me by friends overseas, um, and it's traveled a very long distance by boat or by ship, um, apparently it's arrived in Australia and it's going to go along with everything else that was shipped in the same uh, shipped for the same people into storage. And then when I have an opportunity, I will go down to the storage facility and take um, the table. So um, it's sort of all been done in, in one go, but apparently it's in Australia now, which is um, great. <laughs> it took months and months and months. In fact, um, oh, three, four months, maybe even longer. I can't even remember. It's a beautiful table and uh, I can't wait to have it here. So yes, it is an Aussie table now and um, we'll just see. See how it goes. It'll be really lovely to have a solid timber table instead of this very cheap, I don't even know what this is. I think it's sort of um, a plasticky, hollow sort of table. Uh, it's a good size in terms of length, but it's not good for the cards. So all right, so I wanted to do a full reading on just the energies around um, the situation with women and children in Afghanistan in the, in the current energies. And then we'll just see where that takes us. Uh, and then I'll um, see what happens next. Okay, so I'll be doing my usual reading, reading the cards upright and, uh, no, so upright or in reverse, depending on how they land. Very, very relevant and pertinent question. Let's find out about the general energies of women and children in Afghanistan. Okay. So we have the signifier mm. and the challenge card, conscious thoughts, subconscious thoughts, the past and the short term future. Oh, that's very interesting. This is a little bit unexpected given the current circumstances. So let's take a look. So as the signifier, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse and it's challenged by the Three of Wands. The Eight of Swords in reverse is um, about a new version of the future. And um, it can be about rewarding hard work as well, but it's about finding a way forward. I find that fascinating. It's challenged by the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands is about enterprise, entrepreneurial spirit, uh, opportunity, new jobs and uh, responsibilities. Okay, so the question was generally around women and children in Afghanistan. They have been quite oppressed up until, um, well, uh, to be honest, they probably still are and have always been oppressed compared to uh, you and I living in uh, America or Australia or Britain or New Zealand or wherever, uh, in Holland or, or, or Germany or wherever we, we may be right now. But um, 
they have seen something different in the past 20 years with the occupation of US troops in Afghanistan. So there has been a new wave of women. There's a new generation of women. There are new children who've never experienced anything up until the past few days ago, but haven't experienced anything different to what they have experienced, say, in the past 20 years. You then have that previous generation that um, experienced the more oppressive side in previous years when the Taliban ruled Afghanistan. Well, the Taliban are back now. And so um, what we have here is we have the challenge card, which is that entrepreneurial spirit, the opportunity that's available to them, but it's in the challenge. And what this would indicate is that it's stifling them at this current time. We have a new generation of women and children um, that have a new way forward, a new life, a new existence in, in Afghanistan, but now it's being challenged. That, that, that new way forward is severely challenged by this card, and that's the baseline of this reading. And that's how I know the cards are listening. On the conscious level, we've got the Page of Cups in reverse. And the Page of Cups in reverse is about, okay, those of you who know, every now and then something props up, like gender confusion for this card. Gender confusion is one of the definitions, but it's only relevant in certain circumstances. I would say that in some degree it is at the moment. So we've got gender confusion, an upsetting message, feeling like an outsider in the world. That's at the conscious level. On the subconscious level, we have strength, which is patience, compassion, the power of persuasion, and true leadership. So what we have here is um, we have this feeling like an outsider in the world. I think it's because of, there are so many women and children in Afghanistan who have never experienced what they're experiencing this week. And so uh, what we have is um, this is sort of a, a depiction of the women are stronger than they were, say, a generation ago because they've seen someone cracked a window for them and they've been able to breathe the fresh air. Now they want to hammer the window shut again, and that's what this is. There are children who've never experienced anything other than a sense of freedom compared to their previous generations. It's going to be very difficult to go backwards with them as well. I would recognize that there's a lot of fear among women and children in Afghanistan now, but there's an underlying strength here that comes from having breathed the fresh air. And it's always going to be hard to go back. So the upsetting message and that gender confusion element that comes from this card, the page of cups in reverse, is really relevant. The feeling like an outsider in the world is really relevant. And it comes from there being a knowing deep down inside that there is more to life than the ancestors had, than the previous generations had. In the past, we have the Two of Cups in reverse. And the Two of, um, two of Cups in reverse is about um, love obstacles, separation, and losing contact. I think that this is the gender separation. So this is the, the male versus female, um, the young versus old, but predominantly it's about the hierarchy in Afghanistan and the, the belief system under the Taliban, but even the belief system, it's a very old, long civilized um, tradition over there. Very, very, very hard. It's, it's, it's so, it's uh, the country, I, I remember reading somewhere that the country is so much older in its way of life and traditions and beliefs than America is by, you know, tenfold, a hundredfold. And so um, the exact figure will probably appear somewhere around here <laughs> as soon as I look it up. So um, we, we have a very uh, deeply rooted belief system, a very deeply rooted um, traditional element within Afghanistan, and um, it's very deep-seated. So there, there is... A tendency for the country to lean back naturally to its traditional roots and I think that's where this come from, comes from if unless they're they have to artificially be moved in the other direction at the moment until it becomes natural and I don't think that it has been long enough for it to become natural and that's why this card has come up 
In the short term future, we do have a victory card, and this is a very definitive card. So the Six of Wands is about victory, achievement, public acknowledgement, and good results. Okay, there is an acknowledgement. The world is watching, and um, the world has stopped to watch what's happening in Afghanistan, actually, because it is massive news all over the world. And it could be that that is what this card relates to, that what the women and children of Afghanistan have going for them at the moment is that they're no longer um, undercover. They're no longer behind closed doors. They're not the hidden people. Um, you know that, you know, when you see um, news reports that are outdoors in the streets um, in, in Kabul or anywhere in Afghanistan, all you ever see is the men. You don't really see the women. Well, um, they're no longer hidden away like that and the world is watching so it's at the forefront of international mindset and that could be what this is so let's keep going so the way they see themselves the way others see them or the environment in which they sit that's interesting hopes and fears hmm. and then the final outcome okay well this is a little bit cryptic so i will have to do um a bit of a um, a clarifier. So the way they see themselves is um, the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles is all about generosity, giving and receiving support and charity. Okay, this could be literally about the world trying to come to their rescue, I think. Um, this is the turmoil that they're currently facing and the world is watching and I think people, there is a response. There is an international response that's taking place, whether it's an official governmental response by a coalition of countries or whether it's just the individuals who are who are throwing money into charities that are there to support and rescue um, people in crisis overseas and actually just to let you know I will post in the drop down box some of the charities that people have um, suggested to me relating that give directly to um, uh, the plight of the Afghani women and children and also have lower administration costs as well. Um, so that most of the money that you actually donate actually gets to them. So look out for that in the drop-down box. And I think that that is what is happening right here in this card. It's that um, the world is watching and that there is a, um, a conscious um, effort by people to intervene and to be aware of what's happening. The way that they're seen by others or the environment in which they sit is the judgment card in reverse. And this is... Um, Judgment in reverse relates to resistance, rejection, alienation, and it's also about being overcritical or judgmental or being very close, uh, very heavily criticized and very heavily judged. I, at the moment, to be honest, I think it's a bit of both. I think it's about the environment in which they sit and I think it's about the way they're viewed by others. The environment in which they sit is that um, the new Taliban um, takeover of the country um, and the fact that women are really um, they really are in danger and, and the children are in danger from Taliban rule but also the environment is being judged as well because the, as women they're being judged they're going to try and, and push them back into an impossible to return to um, situation uh, life situation because they're 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 far beyond that now. They've they've lived a whole different kind of existence. They've breathed the oxygen, and it's very hard for them to get locked back up into a room with no air again. And I think that that's where this car it it relates to how they're being um, controlled again, but also how their controller is being heavily judged as well and very closely watched as well. So I. In a way, I think it's both, and that's a good thing because it means that there's an activation here of some kind. In Hopes and Fears, we have the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is about fantasy and imagination. It can be about having too many choices. It can be about um, illusion and delusion. Um, and also it can be um, just, you know, a lot of nonsense really. But it's... I think what it relates to is the the reseparation of the sexes and 
the propaganda that will um, ensue as well. And so I think that um, there's a fear. This is a fear cut. It's a fear of being hidden away behind a, a veil of propaganda, basically. Yep. And then um, as the final outcome, we have the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles is about balancing time and resources, pondering your options and making ends meet. This is a little bit uh, cryptic. So I want to get three more cards down. And I'm not going to reshuffle the, the deck. I'm just going to see if there is a story that needs to be finished here. Okay. Okay, so we've got the Three of Cups, the Two of Wands, Oh, in the sun, this is really good. Okay, great. So um, the Three of Cups, friendship, community, celebration, easygoing. The, I think this is womankind. The, these are, you know what? The reason why there are some factions that are afraid to educate certain segments of their community is because once you educate someone, you can no longer... You can no longer keep them in the dark. They will always shine through the cracks somehow. They always will. And that's what this card is. I think women have, have been, uh, it's that breathing of the oxygen and the fact that there will always be a strength that now that cannot be diminished. Um, yep, okay. And then we have the two of wands. And this is about planning um, and decision making and delays. Okay. Now, you see the pondering of the options, it sits directly below it, it's the anchor card. It means that there's going to be a delay, but there's strength here. And there's numbers here too. This is not just one, one person or one group. This is about a collective community spirit of celebration. So this is a strength card. And um, And it's about action. It's about inspiring action with planning. Okay. In the fire am um, and the final card in the clarifiers is the sun. And this is about exposure, light, improvement, positivity, love, abundance, and joy. This is a victory card, really, for the women and children of Afghanistan. But I don't know what the time scale is here. Okay, it looks very, very positive. It looks as though when we when we ask that question again, will the women of Afghanistan ever achieve the same rights as the men in their country? Now, I did expand this to look at the plight of the women and children. It looks good. It looks as though there's going to be some kind of a delay, but that they've breathed the oxygen now and you can't take it away from them anymore. That little bit of knowledge of what's outside of the previous generations and their experiences has given them strength and determination and they will they will they're going to reach their sunlight they're going to reach their abundance and their joy let's ask about when so i'm going to move the camera back up um, and that way we can uh, talk directly Hello again. Okay, so it looks as though there is going to be, um, they are going to achieve equality. They are going to end up with the same rights. But what are we talking about here? Are we talking about next year? Are we talking about next generation? So I just want to pull three cards and ask time scale. I'm going to go one year, five years, 10 years, 25 years, and if it looks as though, um, I might actually do all four. And let's just see, because you know what, it may be a, it may be a, it may be a fluid situation that fluctuates with time, because most things in life do. Okay, so in the next year, how do the rights of women, in particular women? How do the rights of women in Afghanistan fare in the next year? Oops, I've had some cards pop out. Okay. So I've got here, um, oh wow, okay. All right, so I've got here the um, Six of Cups. The Hermit in Reverse, 
justice in reverse, and then the seven of wands in reverse. It's going to be turbulent. Okay. So the six of cups is about um, nostalgia and um, memories of the past and memories of childhood. And this is... Um, this is not this is a neutral card and so i would say that you know it de be, depending on what follows it would indicate whether or not it's going back a generation to when women were more oppressed or it could be about memories of what it was like before the americans left i think it's memories of what it was like before americans left because we have here the hermit in reverse and the hermit in reverse is about uh, feeling abandoned um, and paranoid and alone and, and lacking support. And I think that this is in the in the next year, there's um, going to be a lot of pain that transpires um, and a longing for the past. Okay. And a sense of isolation. But then we have justice in reverse and when justice is upright, it's about legal issues and, 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 and cause and effect and things like that. But when it's in reverse, it's hard justice. This is a karmic justice. So this is when you really see something happening. And I, I think the next card is very telling. And that's the seven of wands. And this is an obstinate card. This is refusing to give up. I think that what it would indicate is in that first year, that little seed that's been planted in women of what life could be like and that three of cups that we saw in the clarifiers in the full reading i think that that is a banding together of women it may be underground it may be done in in lots of illicit or straightforward ways i don't know but there's a, a striving for justice there and an obstinance and a refusing to give up and i think that um I mean, the obstinance can also go further. It can go, it can become bias. It can be um, oppressive as well. But because it's teamed up with the justice card, I think that, um, I think that regardless of what is experienced by the women in Afghanistan, and I'm focusing on the women now rather than children, I think that there is a determination beneath that. So let's do another little shuffle, and I want to ask about five years from now. So in five years. It looks like there's a seed that's been, been planted. They're not going to just cower down. There will be some kind of a movement in the next year. Some kind of organization and movement. All right, so we've got here the Emperor, the Nine of Swords, and then the Hanged Man in reverse. Okay. So the Emperor is about rules and structure, organization and control. The Nine of Swords is about anxiety. It can be insomnia um, and, and concern and worry. And then the hanged man in reverse is about unfinished business. Okay, so I think that um, this is this is a continuation. I I think in five years we are still going to be seeing something very similar. Um, there will be a way to work within a system, but it's going to cause women are going to have a very hard time in Afghanistan for the next five years as well. And that's why that nine of swords has appeared, but they're not finished yet. So they're still striving. And the organization and control does not mean oppression necessarily. What it, it means is that they're, they're organized um, and they are, you know, the planning and decision-making that was taking place in that full, full reading, it's becoming fruitful, but it, it is causing a lot of anxiety. There's a desperation to, to be able to change their circumstances but it's not over yet there's still more to come okay so 
Let's have a look at 10 years. We've got the Knight of Wands, the High Priestess in Reverse, and the Devil. Okay. So this is about lust and enthusiasm, but it's a scattered energy and it lacks focus. The High Priestess in Reverse can be a very predatory card. It's also about the, dis the disclosing of secrets um, and the truth being revealed. And then the devil is about addiction um, and, and um, codependency and some mental illness. And, um, but it's, it's a new, neutral card. So it doesn't necessarily mean that it's all about evil things. That if it was, you know, upside down, yes, perhaps, because that's times 100. But uh, when it's upright, you have to think of it neutral first. And there's no card to follow it, which means that I think that uh, we should take it as being um, one of perseverance. So we have here, um, in the 10 years, we have a, a growth of enthusiasm. So a growth of enthusiasm for the women of Afghanistan. More people coming on board. But it does create an element of a chaotic kind of um, system of... Um, A chaotic system of governance or, or process, but it's it's um it's kind of um almost as though there's a breakthrough because the the predatory card, the predatory element of this card would indicate that the government almost is sort of al allowing things to happen, but they're they it's a very disorganized unorthodox sort of way of doing things and it has a lot to do with um, secrets being revealed so it could be the world stage demands that there's some action there of some kind um, but I think also um, in 10 years this would indicate that there's an addiction to the old way of doing things that there's still there's still more to come I think that even in 10 years there's not going to be true equality but then again, I don't even know if there's true equality right on my street. So um, I have asked a very, you know, flat question about when will they have the same rights? Well, um, that's a very um, definitive question. And I think that it's a little bit relative um, to the circumstances. So let's have a look now at uh, 25 years, which is, you know, a generation from now, the next generation. I think that they're making progress, though, but it's a bit like two steps forward, one step back over that first 10 years. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands, the King of Pentacles in reverse, and the Moon. Mm, I'm not even sure about that, to be honest. No, I think that what's happened um, is that the continuation of that has clarified that it's not. I think the first one to five years, there's going to be a real push forward. There's going to be a movement of women gaining their strength and their independence in some way. But then by the 10 years, there's a reverting back. There's still a determination, but what these cards would indicate is that it does, it travels up and down. So in in the first to uh, in the in the one year to five year period, women are gaining some um, elevation of their stature or status, but then it starts to go down again, and that was clarified by these last three cards. Okay, so we do have um, a real determination and courage here with the the nine of wands. This is not wanting not wanting to give up. So even though that ten year period had that scattered chaotic element um, and I misunderstood I thought the devil in reverse the devil card was going to be one of being a little bit stuck in your ways but actually it was the beginning of the new travel downward okay so women are still fighting for their rights 
but the king of pentacles is an overpowering um card and i think that um in that that next generation is going to be experiencing uh, sort of um the same kind of cycle where they they get a little but then it's taken away again and that's what this is and then of course it goes underground again Okay, so I wanted to also take a look at 50 years because, you know, I'd like to know whether this is a temporary um, strengthening, which then leads to the downfall of women and, and further oppression, or whether it's more of a natural wave that has its moments of glory and moments of defeat. So just one more shuffle and then I'll put down three cards and this is the last one just to see whether the following generation. So we've done... Uh, one year, five years, 10 years, 25 years. Let's look at 50 years and see whether or not there's a uh, improvement for women over that period of time. Okay, so I've got the nine of uh, pentacles, the hanged man, and the six of swords in reverse. Okay, so the nine of pentacles, this is a really um, promising card. This is about, uh, see the woman here, this woman looks, she looks terrific, she feels terrific because she has her independence. This is about independence, self-sufficiency, comfort and satisfaction from having done things well, appreciating what you've achieved for yourself without the help of others. Okay. The hanged man is about being um, stuck on hold, powerless and letting go. It's about... Um, where whatever the state is that you're in, it stays that way. Nothing, you, you're unable to sort of um, um, preventing, no, sorry, it, there's, there's a prevention that prevents change, basically. So if you're trying to move forward, you'll get stuck. If you're trying to hold on, you'll have to let go. And so this is actually, because the cards are neutral, this is actually quite good. It means that once the state of independence has been achieved, it stays for quite a period of time without there being any change. And then the final um, card here, the um, Six of Swords, is about um, transitioning to karma waters, leaving what you've known behind and traveling somewhere new. And so this is good. This, this actually would indicate that in the longer term, um, the waves of going up and down are, are traveling forward. So uh, if we were to look at it, in a graphical form, it would be a line traveling upward, which would be the average of the highs and the lows of this transition. And that sounds really quite um, reasonable because nothing happens in, in a perfect way. Nothing just, you know, bang and everyone's independent. You have your highs and your lows. I wish it was going to be shorter than, you know, a generation or two. Uh, it'd be nice if it was tomorrow, but that's not realistic. I guess so the cards really are just saying to me what we would probably already know and that is that there's going to be a fight but the light has been ignited inside women now they've breathed that oxygen and it's going to be impossible for them to just go back into the shadows so they're going to be um organizing and they're going to be there's going to be a movement that continues to grow it will have good days it'll have bad days but in the collective um, time scale of, you know, the first, the fifth, the tenth, the twenty-fifth, and the fifty years, when you look at it on average, it actually is a move forward into better things. Good, <laughs> good. As a woman, I would have to say good. Um, don't forget, I just put, um, I'm putting some charities in the drop-down box. If you can, um, do help. I love knowing you're here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my dreams.